not required more. Okay. So first I okay, I think it's not required. So see here. Uh this is my dev. Don't touch it anything here. This is the other instance, okay? So online uh, REST API or SOAP API, whatever it is. Okay, I'm just opening a tool. Okay, it is any tool, but it is it will help us to test the API path. Okay, so first this application. Okay, this is an application, right? And if you want to, let me see like this. What did I say? Incident, incident, incident. Hmm. Okay, one tool is there. Okay, first that tool have the capabilities to expose to the other applications how a tool can be exposed okay via apis so tool when they are generating when they are creating any tool okay they also create the respect to apis supported apis okay the api here will help us to do crud operations on that particular tool not by logging in and doing it but from external Okay, that means uh, you exposed this application and to do a create operation, you just give one extra link. Using that link, okay, whoever, uh, okay, I think, whoever, whoever access that link, no, they can hit that link and then do the prospective operation. This is what the tool is. This is what the API is. Is that correct, ma? The definition is clear maybe not 100 percent i can say because it is it is like this only but you understood it everyone sir, sir web, web services are also comes web under services, the same web services api everything is same okay it will come web services rest is a web service soap is a web service Before we are seeing okay uh the other way of it other way of it in the please keep it on mute okay how first of all in order to use a web service okay the tool should be exposed okay you need an endpoint of the tool okay that is called we call it as endpoint or a tool tool endpoint okay the endpoint is itself a rest or a soap endpoint okay everything is the same don't separate it okay we will see okay now this is the point this point is clear everyone till this point we will see ma okay it is like that only the starting but once you see it, it you will understand don't scare okay so i am here okay so i am here this is my instance okay i want to x first to, what is what i am doing is i want to expose my tool so, so Is, this is the first requirement this is what we are doing going to do now okay this is clear yes this one is clear my everyone yes okay so now i am doing it with my instance not the other instance because uh, i i need the credentials okay so uh, here i can easily get it so see here rest api explorer so see here web services someone said no under that rest or so both will be there i am using this rest api explorer okay what this particular tool will help us is okay you can I, i'll just do it you you understand once i do it okay let me do okay i am doing in on very one of the table okay ideally I pick this table only because it is easy to un make it. Uh... Okay, so see here, REST API Explorer, I've opened it. And also I will be doing something on this table. Okay, keep it. So see, okay, 
rest have methods i will be explaining those methods also little uh, in, in few minutes okay five methods it have it these are extra okay it came with a new one so i i am going to create a new record from external source into this particular tab instance so post for creating it is post okay post okay on what table incident table select the table it will looks a little odd ma okay just to understand once you see the results it is very simple okay you need to give me little time and bear me some time okay so using rest okay i am using post post is to create a record very good and on this table incident table very good <coughs> okay you no need to touch all of them for now just to leave it and here okay this is by default <coughs> json format is one of the format systems will communicate to each other json is advanced one okay still you have xml text okay earlier uh, it is xml soap will only support xml okay and this uh, X, uh, text file will on json and all it will be advanced one it is easy one okay so i am selecting by default options only okay and just to see this particular rest api even though you are seeing in service now it is like a external tool now okay it is a little confusing okay so i am sending it so see i selected which method post method okay and i selected this table okay and then okay i am sending the data so see you are here how many instances are there 274 instances are there right so send what is that ma modifying the data ah, okay i sent it right when i sent it what happened is okay it is did some job what job it did is this is json format ma okay from this tool api explorer tool okay it it hitted the it 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 hitted the particular instance endpoint and then as we did post method it created a new record okay i think two records created okay i hit it two times i under, i know okay two times i hit it so two incidents created okay but did i send any data i just hit it did i send any data i didn't send any data so data is blank correct this point is clear till this point confused but little clear right Yes, yeah confused but little clear uh, what is clear is uh, it is created a record what is confused it sir you are showing the in service now only you are hitting in service now only you are saying this is an extra tool okay that is the confusion correct what is api explorer what exactly did and all it is a little confusing okay so let it be now what i am doing is once it is created it given me one link here okay copy this it will be very clear ma please give me some time okay it will be very clear so it given one api endpoint okay very good <clears throat> okay also it given headers so copy this token is not required okay these two required copy this okay now in order to create or doing any job on this incident on this table you exposed an api you exposed a link and it accept these two things okay this is what the meaning of it okay good now right how i will use it so now i am i am aware to this particular tool we don't care okay just keep this one we don't care okay here you are i am in a complete different tool this is a different tool okay it is a different tool right you take it any tool it could be a jira tool it could be some other tool it could be postman it could be any other tool i am using one of the tool make sense now is this clear this is not service now i i took a different tool correct sir, sir this is a different team tool right Require different bin. yes ma this is a different tool altogether rec bin consider like this is your other tool where you need to send the data to service now Okay, for that, this, for this one, we no need to download. 
then there is online no it is like a postman postman is also a different tool okay i had the postman but i i think i need to install and then show whatever it is simple no both are same okay sir. okay so you can create an account i guess right where ma here ah huh? i don't think so we, yeah, yeah. we need an account to just practice it but i'm just practicing it okay so constant like oh. this is a different tool okay one more question yes ma'am please same method for the cloud service like uh, aws same integration process same ma'am integration is everywhere same rest to soap hitting the things and points okay posting the data putting the data getting the data everything api web services concepts everywhere same they are okay, not doesn't make any difference with it is the same instant or aws same thing yes yes same steps w Thank web services so. concept is very generic okay not service now concept we use here because in order to communicate one platform to other platform only available option is web services and rest are soap that's it okay <laughs> now consider like this is a different tool altogether from this tool you need to create a incident now this is your requirement okay so see here expose a tool to allow to create okay so now this one is done i said i exposed it i got this one okay now second thing is part by part we will come okay create a incident okay using other tool from other tool into service now tool is that correct second statement yes sir no yes sir okay now see from this tool i don't open any i even touch don't touch service now okay i will just only see the results that's it okay so i am here what i have is i have the end point so copy the end point okay end point okay what i am going to do i am going to do post okay and as we are doing the operation okay how come the application how come the tool will allow you with authentication so you have any authentication okay you have any token i don't have any token token is there but i, I can i don't know whether it is working or not whether it will not so i will use basic authentication basic authentication means general login okay we have few authentication types okay, i will explain it so basic authentication in order to access this particular tool what credentials i need to pass the same credentials so this particular step authentication what you do is in other platform you create an account in this platform we consider like it is an xyz tool okay you create an account and use the same id password or you pa you get the credentials in the service now Okay. you are going to create an account uh, you are going to create an incident here na in this service now okay you create a web services generic system account and that account you you share the credentials so that they will use here and that account should have access to generate or create whatever the operations that you are going to do that account should have that particular uh, particular what access is that correct statement okay so i am doing nothing here i am just passing one valid credentials to do the job okay i am using direct admin only but maybe in real time maybe we'll create a system account and then pass it so authentication i passed it okay endpoint method to create it and what is this one to access this endpoint what credentials it could be any account who have the credentials who have the authentication to access this particular table okay on particular instance very good now content these and all new things we will get it so content i am not passing anything for okay so header header uh, i need why it is showing like this maybe i need to copy like this sir normally in so in other tools now it will show nicely but here i don't know it is showing like this okay let me try let's see will it allow or not okay it is i think allowing it basic api okay Ra <coughs> so see here i'm passing like this now i'm hitting it so i'm initiating the job from different tool okay so let me see whether it works or not invalid header ma okay that means header can header i didn't pass correctly just to give me a second uh, something like this sir in other tools now we'll have correctly but uh, invalid header very good how to pass the header here 
I never used this tool, ma. So that's why I normally use Postman or directly service now. Content type. Uh, correct only, no? This is raw. Uh, I think by, this is okay. Good. Okay. So see, uh, the result you can see 201 is for success. Okay. 401 is for failure. Okay. So what I, I did is I just changed the structure. Okay. Maybe this is how it is allowing it. From other tool, okay, I hit the endpoint. The endpoint did some job. What is the job is it created okay an incident because the, it is a post method. So it is created an incident. Even you can see the incident details also here. Maybe you can see incident number. This is the incident number. All these details are there. Somewhere number also will be there. Yes, this is the number. Okay. So what exactly did here is it triggered the endpoint, did the operation. And whatever the work it did, it given back in the form of response. This is your response. Is this clear? From this tool point of view, I am telling. I am not telling from incident uh, uh, API like service now point of view. We are not even touched service now. Correct? I am operating everything from this tool. Is that correct statement? Yes, no. Yeah. Yes. Now go and see whether the incident is getting created or not. Okay, so just refresh here. 76 become 77. And this is the incident it is created. Is that correct, ma? So the second in, second one is clear now? This is done? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. So this is integration. This is the exact integration. So you have a tool. Now don't only limit the scope of integration to service now. Okay, one table. So any tool can be exposed. When they expose it, they will give an endpoint. I'm I'm just I'm just discussing the kind of prerix. What are the prerix per integration? So the tool needs to be exposed and they should give the endpoints and the proper methods headers you can say and in order to hit the endpoint you need an account so authentication it could be OAuth authentication authentication types also there okay there are three types okay basic okay OAuth some other some other thing also there I think one more is there o, o, OAuth o -A -U -T -H. okay and one more is there token based token I think token Token is what? No, anyway, what it is? Okay, basic is basic only. So we used this one. And here the endpoint with respect to method and the job will be done. Till this point, everyone clear? Now it is clear. No confusions. Can I say like this? Everyone. Yes. Yes. Any confusions? Oh, yes, ma, please. What are the tools generally we use during integration? What is the one which we generally use in integration? Uh, one means rest only. What, what are the tools? Just just rest and any other tools? Postman we use it. Postman is the best tool. Okay. So you use Postman to check these endpoints, activities and all. So you install Postman and whatever we are doing here, now you do the same thing in Postman. So you have an endpoint, you have all the details. Now to test it, you, you hit this one using like Postman. Postman is one of the tool, so I try to I try to see, but I didn't install it, so I didn't. That's why I didn't touch it. It will take little time to install, no? but the same thing. Postman also will show in the same way. Okay, see here something like this. Okay, to hit an endpoint, anything, any tool is fine. The job is same. Okay, no need. To, uh, it won't do any extra job, but <coughs> we should not touch any other, any any tool to hit our production endpoints or live environments because. We don't know who is hosting this one. We are trying to hit our endpoint to generate an incident with our credentials. Okay, what if they hack? You got it. And now so this has to be authorized by the organization you work. Yeah, in, yeah, right? that is there. In real time, we will be properly using it. Even Postman also, we locally install and then use it, right? But I am doing Web one, and I don't know who who they are. So let's say they took uh, my, my details and my credentials. Using this instance details, using this particular one, they can do anything from now. 
so generally we don't do like this but i'm just showing postman you install it like a particular application in your local computer so you you can use it it's not a web based it is like a what's the most common tool used postman. generally it's like postman postman or soap soap ui soap ui or postman both any one of that simple okay so now till this point clear yes <coughs> everyone yes no yes okay okay so see here i we see one more thing we are creating the data we are creating the uh, incident we are able to hit the endpoint the endpoint from other tool is coming to service now hitting it and then doing a post job post post means to create it but how you are pushing the data are you pushing the data in this three in three cases here from here internal whatever it is external whatever it is but why data is not coming because you are not passing the data content you are not passing it okay so when you are hitting it you also can pass the data okay then only system will use this data so see here uh, something like i am now i will be hitting one more time this time i will use okay uh, this like this this is a json format ma okay i don't know let's let's uh, how to okay so copy like this maybe this is the easiest way okay this is the format that json structure is so here short description the backend names okay equal to testing for integration and it have a comma okay anyway good and then what else you want to pass anything you want to pass the backend values you need to pass color id color id you need to get one sys id so the same thing get value okay set value setting the value of a field now we need that concept here which one you pass exactly sir uh, here we can't pass like a current user current user uh, no ma we need to write in it will send and you need to write internal script to pass it because it won't understand na gs dot current user if how you pass it ma no right yes so see here i am passing these two maybe you can pass all the other values also okay and it is a comma so remove the comma for last line and end it okay so the rest body using json format i am sending it this is the content i am sending it we call it as a body okay or we call it as a request whatever it is now i am sending it the same endpoint i am hitting it posting the data posting is to create okay using that authentication uh, but hitting it again so when i hit it again one more time it created a uh, i think it's it created or not created but anyway we'll see here 77 become 78 very good and uh, this is the one okay and see here two values should come one value it came second value didn't come why because some some type of short description how short description okay and also safe side are missing i think you've seen it right so description okay so description is equal to testing integration description i am passing two values right so now i am hitting one more time very good okay so see if it fails it will give 400 issue okay 400 i will show you okay so see here it is created a new record and i all whatever i passed the content the content is also came so this one is one content this is second content this is third content this is making sense now yes no yes ah. okay till this point everyone clear ma yes can i say like this yes okay. so in case what if in case okay i am hitting the endpoint okay i said pre are okay 
maybe the endpoint okay authentication something okay what if we, we pass the wrong credentials i i'm just saying like this admin one is a user who do, we don't have it in the system okay the endpoint will give you 4001 and it says this one okay it is hitting it it is trying with this account this credentials this data and it failed and response is important now every action that you are doing is okay that is the request and once the job is done you are getting back the response you are observing it this response you use it you read the response and then based on the content of the response you do some extra job that also we do but you are getting the response also here correct can i say like this yes no yes sir. okay now this is basic for integration if you understand this basic you can integrate anything now the whatever we are going to do from now is very very jujubi if you understand this part can i say everyone understood this part now i am hitting one more time okay and the content i will just change a okay, short description testing one maybe i can say testing two something it will just just create one more okay and if you are passing uh, invalid things so so let's say this particular cc id is not there it will maybe ignore it that's it okay so see it is going and it is blind one more blind action is just to go okay try to create it that's it you don't do extra things so. okay till this limitation so one one more thing came so this is also done so abraham lincoln test to test to okay so <laughs> everyone clear to this, till this point ma before we jump into the actual concept the other concept everyone yes okay now 